This video is going to talk you through the features of AZ Screen Recorder. So to get started, we can look at the uh, App Store on Android and you can see Hecarat is the developer and the product we're talking about today is the AZ Screen Recorder. And I've often mentioned how brilliant it is and this is the reason why, uh, that you've got the AZ Screen Recorder, you've also got the AZ Plugin 2. Those are the two items that I've got to be using today. AZ 2 is a add-in for screen recorder so to get started and look at the situation we open up the um, screen recorder and you can see on the left hand side there is this thing which I tap it look and it's got a bubble setting so what we can do is look in the features because that's something I just want to control first of all so what this allows you to do on any Android device running no root which is um, lollipop marshmallow 5 6 onwards it allows you just to record your screen and lots of other features in a really simplistic way so let's just have a look through first of all we've got a controller which is looking at a bar or a bubble I usually use the bar it doesn't matter it's just a pop out on the side so when you come down and you can look at the different features of it so you've got uh, settings which I'm going to go into at the moment so what's this all about I don't touch that and I'm going to tell you how I use it so magic button is very useful again I don't use it you can single tap where the clock is on the on the top right of the area to do certain things like pausing resuming double tap I don't use it because I have a set system that works for me um, this is really important because this ne Nexus 7 that I am using and what I can do here also, which I forgot to do, is roll it over to the side and I'm using zoom.us to record this screen along with um, OBS Classic. Now, I know that the Nexus 7 that I am showing you right now is 1280 by 720. So if I wanted to record my screen, if I use 1280 by 720, then that makes it absolutely right. If I knew that I was going to do, say, a portrait share like that then I would know that the 720p is, is lost and I'd probably dial it down so that is something that you can control of how many pixels get recorded remember the more pixels you use the more consuming it will be on the tablet or the phone processor to, to record now similarly you can go down and you can dial in and out the frame rates now if you're going to do a screen recording which is really not moving on screen at all then only choose 24 if you want to do something that is like a game or something or something that is really flowing with video use 60 that's a good feature frame rates bit rates I always choose as auto this is how I do it if you know that your um, processor is a little bit slower or whatever you can change it. I've never actually changed that so let's, let's just move on without wasting time so the next thing is orientation landscape portrait notice that mine is set up as auto I normally um, record I think these days on portrait but sometimes landscape again it's the point of it is that AZ screen recorder allows you all of these different things time-lapse very useful feature personally I've not used it so you can go a third or times by three nice feature again now record the audio this is really interesting because I personally never record the audio unless I'm doing a super private quick screen recording for somebody who I know the reason I don't is because as people who know me I use a zoom h1 microphone and that is a much higher bitrate and hopefully a better quality quality but if you are using a tablet or mobile phone on a az then I normally plug in a head socket and I use uh, the, the audio from there remember I'm you know I, I mess around with a lot of video and a lot of separate audio and video tracks and uh, curate or post edit a lot of my videos text and logo is quite an interesting one and you can muck about with showing different logos on here if you click it on you get like you can see that I've, I've used um, like a dot I was just messing around with things but you can put you know your I don't know profile logo or your picture or something like that and there are lots of um, different things in there let me just go back one now this is an, an interesting one again I personally never use this but I will quite happily demonstrated that if you show your camera oh it's me look and there, there I am sort of uh, standing there it's enough of that 
but you can turn it around and add your own webcam in. I find that if I put my webcam on it just wastes space on screen but once you do have it turned on let me just show it over here a bit oh sorry I've moved back a bit um, and that is I'm just going to put my hand over the camera I think so yeah it's on my, my cameras sorry my fingers are over the um, camera but what I'm trying to show you here is very simple that you can change the opacity look which goes down from um, we'll just change it over there so you can pull that down to can you see the way it's moving okay cancel that um, an effect mono I can make it go black and white um, I can do quite a lot of different things with that it's enough about that one and let's turn the camera off so what else we've got to do okay let's move in along because we've already been five minutes but I don't mind taking it a little bit slower timer recording now for me show recording duration I never do that um, countdown before start I use a three second countdown it just uh, calms me a little bit to see the three two one when I hit record um, what else have we got here and that is more or less it, isn't it? Apart from to say the most important thing, really, is the post-edit. So when you go into post-edit, what you'll find, all your videos sit in there. So if I wanted to put it on a part here, and you can see that I'm messing around with different screen recordings. And um, here's one I've done from earlier. And what you do, I'm going to use this one here. That was just a bit about Instagram stories, that thing there. Um, here, this, this is a good example. I went on a tour the other day and um, I made a GIF to do with this. This is actually a flower making um, situation where they've got, I don't know, they're shaking wheat or something in these things. But the point of it is, is that when you come off and you look at the way I have used, for example, I've clicked on the preparing, preparing the video for an edit and you've got to just move that up a little bit you can see that you can cut out the middle of a video huge merge two different videos together add text a sticker what's that all about so if I wanted to add a sticker to this video I can choose say not not my thing rock on um, then we've got let's go back down again let's turn that over let's go back a little bit um, let's go look at that one so what we've got is finishing up really is we can crop the video we can convert it to a gif which I've already done I can edit some audio and add some I can extract the frames I can do a ton of different stuff and that's why I consider this product to be quite um, a powerful thing so on the left hand side on the menu we've got our settings a Wi-Fi transfer which is very useful so if I wanted to transfer my video somewhere immediately off I go and then what else we've we got down here um, yeah I think that that would do actually on it but I think the main 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 thing is that if you spend your time and figure out why you are recording your screen and who the audience is and also really the um, reason you're doing it you'll find the AZ screen recorder really really will work for you in a nice productive way I'm rambling so it's a pretty decent idea that I should finish this video thanks for watching